Hi, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. We've got a few guys needling around, planting some corn, planting some beans. It only takes three or four days till the question comes up every year. Hey, when can I row this? When am I gonna see emergence? How much longer is it gonna be? Well, it's not that hard to figure out. There's a formula, you know, called growing degree units or GDUs. Typically between 110, 130 GDUs, the corn and beans are out of the ground, you can row them. But I've got a new, new tool I wanna to show you that I think can make your life a lot easier. So it can track your rainfall, also show you GDUs right in one spot where all of your data is also stored as well. So let me flip this around. So there's an app, but also a website. Today I want you to go to the website it's for granular. It's called us.insights.granular.ag. So when you go there, if you need help logging in, you know, let me know, I'm happy to help you out here. Um, so you, you get logged in there, you're gonna go to the map tab right here, as you see. If we scroll across here, there's this toggle button that says weather. Now it's off, bang, now we turn it on. And if you have shared your as planted data, your, uh, your, your data up in the cloud with Corteva, it will flow automatically in here, which is awesome. If you haven't done that, like on this field, that's no problem. You can just go in there and plug in your actual planting date, the product you put on there, um, and that works also. But if you shared that data here, it will automatically update day of planting. And then what I love here too, rainfall. So this field was planted on April 20th. It's had eight tenths of inch of rain on it, and so far it's had 108 GDUs since planting. Let's go down and find another one here. This is another field, planted April 23rd. Six tenths of inch of rain, 77 GDUs. So pretty cool to way track all that. So you don't need to do all the formulas and all the Excel work, but what's really going on? Let me show you what's going on in the field today. So if we slide over here, I went out and checked some fields and just trying to figure out what's going on. So you can see on here, today is April 29th. So I've got some fields here like this one, Planted April 20th, 108 GDUs. It's been in the ground for nine days. You can see we've got a nice root growing underneath here. The call out is coming up. If I move this over on the white background, you can see it's turning green. It's just about to break through the surface here. And you'll be able to, be able to see it on top of the ground, maybe even tomorrow, uh, row it in a day or so here. So it's taken nine days to basically get to dang your emergence. Probably 10 days it will emerge. April 23rd, 77 GDUs, six days in the ground. So if you look at this one, we've got a nice root system on here and just starting to see that coleoptile emerge from the seed and come up. And then the last one I wanted to show you here, April 24th, just one day's difference here, 56 GDUs, been on the ground for five days and we just barely can see that seminal root coming out from the seed there. So when we see this, you're about halfway to seeing emergence. Depending on the weather, if it's 80 degrees, that could be two more days we see it up and out of the ground. If it's going to be 50s for highs, it could be 10 more, 20 more days. So you can go out in the field and check these things. Don't worry, the corn's coming up, looking nice so far. Beans as well, I just didn't show any beans today, guys. But more importantly, I wanted to show you kind of where things sit today as far as heat units, emergence, and everything. But also, the cool information you can find right here on the Granular website. And this is a free, free information to you. Um, lots of cool stuff on here we'll be talking about throughout the season here. Um, happy to help you out if you need any help with that. So, hope this helps. Have a good day.